Good afternoon. We have just finished the exams at school. All the graduates have passed, and now a new stage has begun. Graduates are enrolled in special educational institutions, both secondary and higher education institutions. Graduates leave school, but life goes on, including training for the next season, technical training. Please, Vladimir Vladimirovich. Thank you very much, Vladimir Vladimirovich. I would like to say a few words about education and science. In general, education is education and education. As per your instructions, 1,134 schools were built, which gave more than a million seats. This is more than 8,800 plans. In addition to the infrastructure, it is extremely important to pay attention to our teachers because there are regions where the salaries are lower than those that you have indicated. We are working on this. At the same time, I was able to fulfill your instructions to enroll in a dozen countries of high-quality education. Now there are 8,300 places. Of course, it will not be easy to keep it. The competition is high. But it is a very good indicator that our guys at the International Olympics in Natural Sciences show good results. We have increased the number of medals, including gold ones, from 19 to 31. Of course, we are all happy about the victory. What is interesting is that we see the effect of synchronization of exams with educational programs. Now I would like to ask Sergei Sergeyevich to tell us briefly about the results of the exams of the 9th and 11th grades of the EG. We have very interesting new statistics. We observe the growth of EG participants in natural sciences. Sergei Sergeyevich will report to you now. Mr. President, first of all, I would like to thank the teachers for the past school year. Indeed, the school year was a positive one. The United States exam was a calm one. There were no serious incidents in the main exam. As you instructed, we paid great attention to security issues. Thank God there were no serious incidents. In the future, we will pay close attention to security issues. As you instructed, we studied natural sciences together with Valery Nikolaevich. All subjects are important, but we understand that the technological leadership is mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. This year, more than 9,000 students chose physics. The number of students who chose professional mathematics has also increased. Last year it was about 280,000, and now it is more than 300,000. The main thing is that we have broken the tendency towards humanities. Today we see a tendency towards natural sciences and engineering education. The situation is the same in the main state exam in the ninth grade. However, we see that students are interested in colleges. Today we have 200,000 more applications than last year. Students go to work. They're interested. 40 people go to work. Colleges are actively involved in the implementation of defense and industrial orders. They help our defense enterprises, the front and our victories. We are already preparing for the next academic year. We are analyzing schools and personnel to be as ready as possible for the beginning of the next academic year. Excuse me, please. What I said about the material and technical condition of schools, I understand that the season is quite active. According to your instructions, schools are undergoing major repairs. We have increased the pace. You instructed us to do it 1.5 times. More than 4,000 schools have already completed the program of major repairs annually. 150 now being 100 schools are actually new, with new equipment. We plan to open the maximum number of schools that are being repaired today by September 1st. This is the task we set for the region. Also, in accordance with your instructions, 
There has been a program of major repairs of kindergartens since this year. For the first time, because we have actually solved the problem of the availability of kindergartens. Six or seven years ago, 85% of kindergartens were available. Today, it is almost 100%. And what about Slavyansk? Is it really 100%? 99%. Depending on the move of parents, for example, to the Krasnodar territory, we see an increase. Therefore, first of all, we repair kindergartens there, slightly increasing them. And according to your instructions, we are building 100 new kindergartens in order not to allow the growth of the order. Sergei Sergeyevich said that 62% of ninth graders chose colleges and went. This is probably one of the most effective measures in the direction of professionalism. According to your instructions, all 95 clusters that we will make will be expanded to all regions. In the higher education system on June 20th, more than 1,200 universities and branches and almost 4,000 colleges started the acceptance campaign in all 89 subjects. And here is a very interesting statistic that Valery Nikolaevich will tell. We launched a super service through the portal Gusislug, entering Gus Online literally four years ago, according to your instructions. Dear Vladimir Vladimirovich, we have your instructions regarding the budget places and the availability of higher education. But we look not only at the availability, but also at the quality, and first of all in the regions. This year, there are an unprecedented number of 619,000 budget places, which are well provided for the graduates of schools and colleges. But at the same time, 73% of the budget places are transferred to regions, in fact, to regional universities. As for the number of documents, everything looks very good. At the moment, there are 4,967,000 applications. What makes us especially happy is that, as Valery Nikolaevich said, the super service has entered Gus Online. Last year, according to the results of the acceptance campaign, 44% of applicants used it. This year, at the moment, it is already 75%. This is a convenient, remote way of interacting with universities, and it also contributes to the fact that more students are enrolled in regional universities. I would like to note separately that, in accordance with your instructions, this year we have increased the special quota for FSO participants, members of their families. Moreover, we must thank our universities, almost all of them. They individually come to each such case, help, including with additional grants, and not only select such places, but actually take care of everyone who is being trained. On July 25th, the acceptance of documents will end, and in the first half of August we will include the majority of applicants. Taking into account the results of the EG, which the school showed, we understand that our acceptance quality will be better this year. You mentioned the implementation of a new higher education model in a pilot mode. How is it going? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. You entrusted us with such a large and important project and gave us the opportunity to implement it in a pilot mode. When you sent your message in 2023, you said that the transition to a new system should be smooth and that everything should be thought out and worked out to the smallest detail. We carried out this work. Today, we have more than 12,000 students in this system, including six universities. Some of them have been taking classes for three years in total. Our leader is the St. Petersburg State University of Mountaineering. They have 81 programs. At the same time, it should be noted that we have the Moscow Aviation Institute in the second place, and this year we have allocated 11,500 students. What is the novelty? The novelty is that the fully redesigned programs, first of all, of the engineering and technical profile, have strengthened the fundamental component. The second is that we have increased the practice orientedness, including the volume of practice itself. The relationship with the labor market, in particular the Institute of Mentorship, is developing very actively. Such programs have also increased in cost, that is, in terms of the cost of education, and we see that employers respond very well. Therefore, we are now planning to expand this program so that, at the end of the pilot project, the entire higher education system will be transferred to the new rails. But those universities that do not even participate in this pilot project today show great interest in joining it, and we will ask you to give us such an opportunity so that Russian universities can further supplement this pilot project this year. Mr. President, is this topic clear?
It is already mid-July, the tourist season is in full swing. How is this work going? You are absolutely right. Tourism is developing dynamically. If last year there were 90 million trips, now we see that we are steadily reaching 98 million. In general, we were targeted at 140 million in 2030. Of course, infrastructure is important for it, as well as for education. Within the framework of the Tourism and Hospitality Project, there are various measures of support. The operator is the Ministry of Economic Development. The most popular measure is the subsidy of interest rates, available loans. Now the portfolio consists of 415 projects, about 80,000 numbers, with a total investment value of about 2 trillion rubles. This means that the business has believed that it is necessary to create hotel rooms. It is clear that the tourist product is complex. The main component of the product structure is logistics. Sometimes inflation increases. We monitor this. According to the instructions of Mikhail Mishustin, a constant monitoring is deployed in our coordination center. If there is a deviation of 20% from the covenant, then the mechanisms are activated. We connect FAS, we deal with Mintrans, or if the hotels increase the cost, then we deal with it separately. I would also like to say that the statistics are very interesting. Ivan Lomonosov said that Russia is growing closer to Siberia. By the way, this is amazing. It has maintained such dynamics over the years. Last year we also expect an increase of about 8% by this year. Now, at the beginning of the summer, the growth throughout the country was about 6% last year, and in Siberia there is an increase of 14%. That is, there is such a big flow. Therefore, I think that tourism has a bright future. It is important that our new region is also involved. We have a large investment project in Zaporozhye, which is included in the federal project Five Seas and Lake Baikal, which creates a large infrastructure that should provide around-the-clock sea resorts. Dmitry Nikolovich, you once talked about the development of student, scientific and educational tourism. Yes, that's right. This is a rapidly developing direction of tourism. On the one hand, it is an effective use of infrastructure. When dormitories that can be freed during the summer holidays are occupied by students who come from other regions. It is extremely important that they have the opportunity to communicate with their peers. On the other hand, in the framework of industrial tourism, they have the opportunity to visit various enterprises, where there are also very fascinating objects of display of our large industrial complexes, hydropower plants. All this is very interesting and attracts guys. All this is accompanied by various training programs and patriotic programs on the Rosmolodezhnaya line. Various programs are created, the opportunity to participate in volunteer actions. So it also works. Thank you.